That verdict returned after several hours of deliberations. The jury polled by the judge and the verdict was unanimous. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter for the Beaver County Bride. Now the jury had spent its hours deliberating whether she was uh, guilty in the wedding night shooting of her niece, Caitlin Francis, who was insisting that she be the designated driver for both the bride, Christina George Harvin, and the groom, Jeremy Harvin. The defense had insisted the bride was not part of a dispute over whether or not the uh, young woman would drive their vehicle. The bride had claimed that she had spotted her husband's gun in an open glove compartment and was trying to move it to safety. The prosecution successfully making a case to the jury that there was criminal responsibility in this case, even if there wasn't an intent, hence the verdict of involuntary manslaughter. Now, we have since learned there was still other evidence that might have been presented to the jury had the door been opened during testimony. It was not, but it's nonetheless significant information. We've confirmed that Assistant DA Brittany Smith was prepared to offer other evidence against Christina George Harvin, but that the door to allow her to do so never presented itself at trial. A court document filed in January says there's evidence that a few months before the shooting of the niece, Jeremy Harvin confided to his ex fiance that the defendant pulled a gun and pointed it at him after an argument. That in January 2014, Conway police responding to a domestic dispute at her home saw her threatening her now husband Jeremy Harvin with a baseball bat. That in July, Patterson police were called to a domestic dispute between Jeremy Harvin and the defendant. The judge revoked the bond for the defendant, ordered Beaver County Sheriff's deputies to put her in handcuffs. She's being taken to the Beaver County Jail. Again, Christina George Harvin found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. No sentencing date has yet been set. Reporting live inside the Beaver County Courthouse, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Bob, thank